on hands. Congressman Devin Nunes is on the House Intelligence Committee, famously was the chairman of it when Republicans were in charge. He joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. Great so, so much of this IG report bears directly on things that you have been saying for the last couple of years, in some cases obliquely, because you're, you, you can't reveal all you know, obviously, because of what you do for a living. But do you feel vindicated by it? Well, I think I feel more than vindicated because actually I give Horowitz a lot of credit because they were actually able to find things that we didn't know. Like we didn't know that they had actually found the talk to Steele's Russian sources. And I think that's a critical key here because now you have to bring into question everything that happened with Mueller. Because remember I used to say that by the time Mueller was appointed and he walked into the room and said, okay, where are the Russians? And he had to know day one there were any, they weren't any Russians. And the one Russian they knew of lied, wasn't even true. He like heard something at a bar. Right. So, you know, everything that myself and our team did has been true. Whether it was Trump transition, people being unmasked by Obama era officials, whether it was the whole Russia thing was a hoax and there were no Russians, and the fact that they had frauded the FISA court, I mean, that is why, if you remember, back, we made a criminal referral back at the beginning of the year on criminal conspiracy to fraud the FISA court, which is exactly what Lindsey Graham said there today. So do you, do you perceive the irony here? For, for two years, Democrats told us that Russia was influencing our political system. But while they were telling us that, they were quoting anonymous Russian sources whose information wound up in, in the Steele dossier. So actually, well, it was the Democrats that were using Russian intel against their opponents. I, I mean, look, I've got a lot of places that I could go with this, but let's just go with my favorite one. So the very thing they accuse us of doing, they do. Number one, Always. it was the Democrats and Adam Schiff that were using congressional resources to try to get nude pictures of Trump. Okay? I'm sorry, I have to laugh. It's just so unbelievable. That's what they're impeaching the president for. They're yeah. claiming that the president was over trying to get dirt uh -huh. on Biden. No, no, no. And using government resources to do it. They use congressional resources, taxpayer resources, to try to get nude pictures of the president. Who would want those pictures anyway? I mean, it's kind I don't of know. I don't know who would want them. I, I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe uh, the Adam Schiff will come back on your show someday. Yeah, maybe he'll explain. Yeah. Huh. That's, um, it's, that's an irony that too few point out. I, and finally, I finally just have to ask you this because it's, it's a, something I can't get past. We, we now know that when John Brennan publicly stated that the Steele dossier had nothing to do with the FISA warrant, he was lying. And in fact, he said so under oath, so that's perjury. That's correct. Why, why is he not being held to account for that? So you may also remember we talked about one of the criminal referrals we made. We also made a criminal referral on a criminal conspiracy on manipulation of intelligence. Right. And it has to do with exactly that, is how did certain things end up in the ICA? Remember what happened, Trump wins. A Couple weeks later, they decide that they're gonna, they're gonna yeah. have this ICA produced within a month, and that all happens. And that thing is totally in question because of what, not only what was put in it, like the dossier, but what was also not put in it. Huh. Well, I, I hope there's closure on that story. Congressman, thanks so much for joining.